A lot of people love the cars from the mid-1960s to the early 1970s, but what about the cars before that golden age? Were there any contenders for the title of fastest in the 1940s, even if they wouldn't be classified as true muscle cars? Well, the answer is yes, absolutely. While the 1940s weren't defined by the tire-shredding beasts that we know of today, there were some remarkable automobiles that pushed the boundaries of speed and performance in their time. And in this video, we'll talk about the 10 quickest muscle cars of the 1940s and what they cost then versus now. So, to get the best one, make sure you stay tuned till the end. Number 10, 1949 Buick Roadmaster. The Buick Roadmaster wasn't a car built for the drag strip, but it represented the pinnacle of luxury and performance in its day. The full-size sedan boasted a powerful 5.3-liter V8 engine, a rarity at the time, churning out a respectable 141 horsepower. This translated to a 0-60 to mph time of 12 seconds, which might not seem impressive today, but it was noteworthy for a car hauling its own weight in luxurious comfort. The Roadmaster's top speed reached a decent 130 kilometers per hour, making it a capable highway cruiser. The price tag for this slice of automotive luxury in 1949, a cool $2,065.50, which translates to $23,492 in today's money. Number 9, 1948 Dodge Custom. The 48 Custom from Dodge wasn't a muscle car in the rumbling, tire-shredding way we know them today, but don't let its unassuming looks fool you. Under the hood, a surprisingly peppy 3.8-liter Street 6 engine with 110 horsepower put it ahead of many competitors. This, combined with nibble handling for a car of its size, made it a capable and exciting performer on the road. Stylish design with flowing lines and chrome accents added to the package, making it a desirable choice for those who wanted a balance of speed and sophistication. The real cherry on top? The price. At $1,551, it was an affordable thrill ride, putting a bit of zip within reach for many drivers. While not a muscle car in the traditional sense, the 1948 Dodge Custom was a significant stepping stone in Dodge's history, foreshadowing the iconic muscle machines that would dominate the roads later. Number 8, 1949 DeSoto Custom. This wasn't just another pretty face in the realm of luxury cars. The 1949 DeSoto Custom broke new ground with a technological marvel for its time, fuel injection. This innovative system replaced the traditional carburetor, allowing for a more precise mixture of air and fuel, resulting in smoother operation, better fuel efficiency, and improved power output. Despite its 4.1-liter inline-six engine, which might seem small by today's standards, the DeSoto Custom held its own thanks to fuel injection. The 110-horsepower engine propelled the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a respectable 12 seconds, keeping pace with some V8 competitors. But speed wasn't the only advantage. Fuel injection likely contributed to a more responsive driving experience. Of course, luxury came at a price. The 1949 DeSoto Customs $2,220 price tag translates to a hefty $25,300 in today's dollars. While this might seem expensive for a car with a relatively small engine, you are paying for both performance and innovation. Number 7, the 1940 through 1948 Hudson Hornet. This was more than just a car. It was a testament to the burgeoning science of aerodynamics. Its iconic twin hump hood wasn't merely a stylistic flourish, but a functional design element that helped to reduce drag and improve overall performance. This focus on aerodynamics set the Hudson Hornet apart from its boxier contemporaries. While specific horsepower figures can be elusive for some models, later iterations housed powerful straight-six engines capable of exceeding 100 miles per hour. This combination of innovative design and potent powertrains made the Hudson Hornet a true force to be reckoned with on the road. The price tag ranging from $1,200 to $2,000 in the 1940s translates to roughly $17,000 to $28,000 today. While seemingly expensive, for those seeking a car that was both technically advanced and exhilarating to drive, the Hudson Hornet offered a compelling proposition. Number 6, 1949 Mercury 8 in 1949, Mercury, Ford's performance-oriented brand, introduced the 8 as a taste of excitement for everyday drivers. Under the hood, a flathead V8 engine offered in various configurations could pump out up to 110 horsepower. While this wouldn't break any land speed records today, it was a respectable figure for the era. This translated to a 0-60 to mph time in the mid-14-second range and a top speed exceeding 100 mph, making the Mercury 8 a capable performer on the road. 
Unlike a true muscle car, it wasn't designed for drag strip performance, but rather for comfortable cruising with a touch of zip. The price tag of $2,100 in 1949 translates to a very reasonable $24,000 today, making the 8 an attractive option for those who wanted a balance of practicality and a bit more thrilling performance compared to the average sedan. The Mercury 8 wasn't a beast, but it offered a glimpse into the growing muscle car spirit that would take hold in the coming decades. Number 5, 1941 through 48 Packard Super 8. Packard, renowned for its luxurious cruiser, surprised some with a 1941 through 48 Super 8. This car wasn't all about plush interiors and chauffeur-driven comfort. Nestled beneath the hood was a powerful straight-eight engine, churning out between 130 and 160 horsepower, depending on the year. While exact acceleration times are elusive, the Super 8's impressive horsepower suggests it could deliver a satisfying surge when pressed. Imagine cruising in opulent comfort while having the ability to leave most other cars on the road in the dust. This unique blend of luxury and performance came at a price, though. The starting price for a Packard Super 8 ranged from $2,500 to $3,500 in the 1940s, a hefty sum that translates to a staggering $35,000 to $50,000 today. So the Super 8 wasn't just a fast car, it was a status symbol for those who demanded both speed and sophistication. Number 4, 1940s Chrysler Town & Country the 1940s Chrysler Town & Country shattered expectations. This luxurious station wagon, unlike its boxy, utilitarian counterparts, held a secret weapon. A potent straight-eight engine boasting up to 140 horsepower. While specific acceleration times remain elusive, this engine promised a level of performance that belied the Town & Country's practical image. Drivers could expect smooth, responsive acceleration and surprisingly capable handling, making it a compelling choice for those who desired both family functionality and a hint of thrill behind the the wheel. The price tag reflected this unique combination. Costing between $2,800 and $3,200 in the 1940s, it translates to a cool $40,000 to $45,000 today. So the town and country wasn't just a luxurious way to haul the family and groceries, it was a surprisingly quick and versatile performer for those who appreciated a dash of excitement alongside practicality. Number 3, the 1948 and 1949 Crosley Hotshot. In stark contrast to the luxurious land yachts on this list, the 1948 and 49 Crosley Hotshot offered a completely different kind of excitement. This tiny, minimalist car defied expectations with its surprisingly peppy performance. Under its hood resided a 72-horsepower engine, which may not sound like much by modern standards, but in this lightweight package, it translated to a thrilling driving experience. The Crosley Hotshot wasn't a muscle car by any means, but its agility and nimble handling made it a blast to zip around town. Imagine carving through corners with the wind in your hair and the engine barking with enthusiasm. This quirky car wasn't about brute force. It was about a pure, unadulterated connection to the road. And the best part? Affordability. Back in the late 1940s, a Crosley Hotshot could be yours for a mere eight to nine hundred dollars, a price tag that translates to a very reasonable eleven thousand to twelve thousand five hundred dollars today. Number two, the 1940 Studebaker Champion. Studebaker, a name synonymous with innovation, introduced the Champion after World War II, offering a car that stood out for its well-rounded capabilities. Unlike some of the flashier entries on this list, the Champion wasn't about raw power. Instead, it excelled in practicality for everyday driving. A peppy six-cylinder engine boasting up to 90 horsepower provided enough grunt to navigate city streets and cruise comfortably on highways. And number one, the 1940s Nash Ambassador. The Nash Ambassador of the 1940s wasn't just about sprawling luxury, it offered a satisfying blend of comfort and performance. Under the hood purred a powerful six-cylinder engine, generating up to 112 horsepower. While exact acceleration times might be lost to history, this engine was enough to ensure that Ambassador could confidently hold its own on the highway. So which car did you like the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And for more great amazing videos, please subscribe to our channel.